Hi, it's Mark. Just an update on the diesel heater. So it might sound noisy because it's actually working. It's working and blowing and blowing it hot air. So what I've had to do, if you saw the last video, was I have put two thicker cables on here. These are nice big uh, kind of 20 amp cables, I suppose. Crimped them on with a, uh, you know, a circle, circle holder or a circle clip. I don't know what they're called, circle clip or something. So we've lagged all the pipe. What we've done is well, on these exhausts, there's a little, um, uh, there's a blowhole there to let condensation out of, a, of the exhaust as it goes out. And I've crimped that up. And the reason I've crimped it up is because I'm gonna put a straight through pipe through there because um, uh, obviously the exhaust gases come out of it as well and it's inside. So I've got to be careful then. And then I've got to fit a, a piggly wiggly hole here to let, the, uh, to let the condensation out. And that should work pretty well. And then back, I've finished my, uh, my kind of marine ply exit and well marine exit and marine ply exit that's my control unit put new connectors on the control units so that works pretty well then i've got obviously i've got the fire extinguisher there. there's two fire extinguishers in the garage but that was one just a convenient place to put it and then the heater is now keeping the garage at well 31 degrees it says the 31 degrees is quite a bit it's quite high. It doesn't feel like 31 degrees. About, um, I think it's about 20, really. So the temperature gauge might not be all that good. But there she is. There's the diesel heater working. She's blowing out air. I'll go near the near it so you can hear it. I presume it, it might sound quite noisy now. And you can hear the ticking of the fuel pump. I'll go. I'll put the mic near the fuel pump so you can hear the ticking. So these, if you're mounting these in a vehicle, I'll come back so you can see the whole unit. So the, oops, kicked a bucket. So there we go. Got a diesel heater all in the workshop. I can fill it up from the top there, look. <clears throat> so I put thicker cables than it came with to supply the 12 volts because I got a voltage drop from the control unit, which is there, up to the, up to the power. So I got a voltage drop because I was using too thin a wire. So I put some thicker wires on there, the, the tw I don't know, 20 amp wires or something. I don't, don't know, they're just very thick. <coughs> and it's all working now. It blew a bit of smoke out when it started because I've got exhaust assembly paste on it to start with. And it's just working. It's firing away. It's been going for about an hour. No voltage drops anywhere. It's warming the garage up. It's keeping it nice and warm. And it's quite a chilly day. It's not freezing, but it is quite a chilly day. So diesel heater, Chinese diesel heater, 85 pounds in cost. I've not paired the remote up yet because I've just switched on the thing. I just stand on my, stand on my anvil table and then I'm up and done and it's all right, you know? So that's the diesel heater working. It's warming the workshop up nicely and I'm working inside today, doing some bits and pieces. I've got some wolf wheels to do, which are just there. Look, I've got some gorgeous wolf wheels. Oh, you can't quite see them there, but let's have a look. Gorgeous wolf, new wolf wheels for the Land Rover. Uh, so they'll be done quite shortly. So diesel heater working, heating up the workshop quite nicely. And time to tidy up the workshop, I think. Make it nice and tidy. Here's Mark. <laughs>